How, how much do you really love anime? I'm not answering questions from Javante A.J. Baptiste. <laughs> that's that's, job, that's the man. only comment I have on that. <laughs> is, is, are you going to answer all my questions like that? Uh, yep. Zach, how long have you and Marvin been the uh, cousins? Since uh, birth. Yeah. Zach, for you, you, you were there a couple years ago. You guys played Michigan State. That was kind of a weird game. You know, yeah. Coach Day wasn't there. Just what do you remember about what that game was like? Uh, my favorite part of the game was uh, celebrating with Coach Jay after. You know, that was his first time out there being a head coach. And, you know, uh, I was excited for him to, uh, to be a part of that because he always talks about how he wanted to be a head coach. And, you know, being there for him and celebrating the locker room for him, that was probably my favorite part of that game. Are you still able to draw from that experience two years ago, <laughs> even though there weren't fans in the stands? Uh, yeah, it's going to be a little different, obviously, because there's, there's fans. There's going to be crowd noise and things of that nature. But, you know, uh, we go out there to, to play Michigan State, and we play uh, – the players in the field, so um, I feel like <clears throat> that's where our focus is, and uh, just take care of business on Saturday. Zach, you were uh, talking after the game about how sometimes you feel like your leg is a problem for offensive linemen. I'm wondering with the flip side of that, when you go up against a guy like DeLong, who has like an 11 to 1 wingspan, what's that like as a defensive end to try to combat a guy who has that kind of leg? Yeah, you know, uh, Duran's a good, great offensive tackle, <clears throat> and I love going against him because um, he, he has he has arms like longer than mine, and I rarely see that. So it's uh, it allows me to you know work on my toolbox and do things that really perfect the things that I, I I'm good at because some things that I can't do on him because his arms are super long and he can get on you so quick. And so I especially like going against Duran because you know I know it's a, that's going to be a good good matchup and good work. I know he, he focused a lot in the offseason on, on trying to just move a little better, a little quicker. Going against him in practice, how have you seen him improve better? No, Dewan's definitely improved a lot from last year. You know, um, <clears throat> just in his sets and his, his mentality, you know, how he approaches the game. You know, I feel I see him watching film all the time and asking me questions and watching NFL pass rushes, watching NFL O-linemen, just, just being a student of the game and uh, learning. And uh, you can definitely see it on the field the way he's practiced and definitely the way he's played. Zach, the tip pass on Saturday that you yeah, it's just it's a little different, you know. It's uh, not as much space, but um, I definitely like doing it, and I definitely uh, want to continue doing it. You know, but I gotta get get reps and practice at it, and just you know, to perfect my craft because I've I'm countless reps at rushing at end and on tackles, and I don't have as many as rushing on the guard. So that's something that I'm continuing to work on, and I'm excited about. Like I said, just practice, just more reps, just getting better at it, you know, using what God gave me and on uh, uh, my length and, and my speed to, to put them in, in positions I'm not used to. They're used to quicker, like heavier set guys and more power guys, and I don't necessarily have, have that, but I got different things that can provide the problems for uh inside guys after that performance the other day uh have you had conversations with the coaching staff about like you know doing that playing inside more and have you gotten more reps inside since that game oh uh, yeah i told i told coach yeah i like it and if he wants to put me in there i have no problem going to rushing that three tech and uh that's pretty much the extent of that you know i just told him i like it and i'm willing to do it and uh you know worked on a little bit at practice during a little, little one-on-ones and a three tech so no, I don't think about the next level too much. I'm just trying to help the Buckeyes win. Could the young Zach have been able to do that, go from end to inside like that? Yeah, he was a little weaker, a little skinnier, but I mean, he, he could have got the job done. Things are happening for you this year. Uh, the fact that you are, you, know, you, you have a lot of experience, uh, how much does that play into it? Been around. Yeah. You know. What What do you at? What do you at? What I'm saying, your experience, you're, you're excelling this year. Yeah. I mean, really excelling. Uh, the experience that you, you've been here for yeah. a long time. Yeah. It's just you know like the um, this this is a program where people are developed and players are developed and you know everybody's journey is different. And, you know, me being a senior now, seeing a lot of things and been through a lot of things and seeing a lot of players and seeing a lot of plays and, and just. Little things that I've I noticed that it's kind of hard to notice if you don't play football for a long time. I just try my best to, you know, to keep noticing those things and, and helping uh, the younger guys pick up on some of those things or tendencies or maybe how to how to work this move and how to set up this and do things like that. Just trying to pass my knowledge down. 
and, and you mentioned your, your strength uh, as opposed to being the, the skinny Zach. Uh, what about um, the off season? You look like you put on yeah. some, some muscle, a lot more muscle. Yeah, I'm definitely bigger. You know, that's just a shout out to Coach Mick and his staff. You know, training hard every day, and our nutrition is, you know, getting me right on my body weight and, and making sure I put on the right way. I don't get, I don't get chubby out here. Can't, can't have that. Got to keep my six pack. So, you know, just testament to those guys and the work that they, that they put in and they, they, the workouts they put me through. Couldn't be there without them. Zach, it feels like as the season goes that this playbook is getting larger. Mm-hmm. Seeing you moving with the rushman inside. Jack moving around. I'm not asking like how much more there can be, but do you sense that there's more experimentation going on with Coach Jay and Coach Knowles than before? Who, who knows what Coach that Coach Knowles got got <laughs> in his brain? Sometimes I look at the play cards and I'll be like, how does he like like that's that's a good that's a good ass play. Like I don't know how you came up with that, but so it's just like a testament to Coach Knowles and, and, and his mind and how he sees the game just differently than any of the coaches that I've been around since I've been here. I'm not saying that any of them are bad or better than the coach knows. It's just yeah. it's different with how he approaches the game and his mentality. I know that I'm oversimplifying it, but it felt like for the last couple of years, it'd be like, well, those are what those four guys are out there. That's what they're going to do on the defensive line. And then, I don't know, I didn't think when Coach Knowles came in, that meant, well, there's going to be lots of new schemes, lots of different looks for the rush man. Like, did you expect that, or has it exceeded? Like, what is it like to be in that? maybe some different things that you're doing? Um, it just keeps the offense on their toes. You know, being able to go from four down to three down to all the different things that we do during a drive, you know, it, it makes the offense have to, they can't just block block X's and O's. They can't just block dots on the car. They got to really know what they're doing and, and make them think a little more. Because if they're thinking, you know, we just get to go straight and go play, you know, it's, it's, it's um, always a good recipe for a good defense. Talk about how Last Coach question. Knowles sees the game. Has it changed how you see it? A little bit, yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely some of the things he's, he's called and some of the things he's installed and some of the things he's taught us. It's like, oh, I guess I never I never really thought about that. You know, I never really seen that that uh, that play or, or, or that formation or how to draw this blitz or this protection or this, this coverage. I've never really seen things like that. So, you know, just just a, just a genius on the defensive side of the ball. Does it allow you guys to buy in even more? Not that you not want it, but you see what your – action causes for the rest of the defense does that allow you to get more ownership of what's going on i mean we we already bought in you know all the guys on defense we're we're you know we like we know coach knows got us and we got coach knows so we're out there he calls a play and, and especially being on the field is sometimes where it's like that's the perfect play for the situation like how did how did you know that was about to happen like, so the, things the like Kai that splits on the, uh, the tight end, uh, what'd you say the kai stokes blitz more than I've ever experienced playing football it's like how did like I'm in the perfect position to make a play right now and it's a testament to you know just coach knows the work he puts in I mean how well do you think you're playing right now I think I'm playing well like, thanks that great a, a great give me a great ah uh, let it great I don't know well <laughs> That's four letters.